doing. Thank you so much. Um, you have my written testimony, so I'm not going to actually read that, but I do want to say that my name is Dr. Deborah Billings. And I'm not sure we do. Do we not have that? Do you not? We'll get it from you. Okay. We will get it from you. So for the past 25 years, I've worked around the globe and locally here in South Carolina with health systems and with educational systems that really aim to help young people lead healthier lives. I have worked with the Arnold School of Public Health, and right now for the last two years, I've been leading a statewide initiative to once again get young people accurate, medically accurate information that help them to lead healthier lives. I'm also the parent of an eight-year-old boy who's attending a public school in this state, and so for very professional and personal reasons, I'm here to, to offer my testimony. Um, we know that in this state, our children are a valuable resource. We also know that education and health are inextricably, inextricably linked. We know, we see the statistics, and we've heard in earlier testimony for other bills that we have a high dropout rate. We have high teenage pregnancy rates. We rank 10th in the United States in terms of sexually transmitted diseases, including gonorrhea, chlamydia, and HIV AIDS. We know from a survey that's done every two years in the state of South Carolina that approximately 20% of middle school students are engaged in sexual activity. Um, the Comprehensive Health Education Act, known as CHIA, was passed in 1988 to standardize health education, which includes sex education in public schools throughout South Carolina. Since 1998, we've learned things, evidence and knowledge has expanded, science has taught us new things, and so really what we're asking with this amendment is that our children receive medically accurate information in the schools. We know that every young person must have that medically accurate information about abstinence, about contraceptives, and about disease prevention so that they can make good decisions for their lives. CHIA requires instruction to promote abstinence until marriage, as well as instruction and skills and knowledge about contraceptive methods and their effectiveness. We're not asking that abstinence come out of the, the bill. South Carolinas, Carolinians, we know from various surveys, support sex ed that emphasizes both abstinence and teaches our young people about contraception so that they can protect themselves and make good decisions. So out, I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it three times, it's absolutely critical that our students, our young people have medically accurate, age-appropriate materials. It would be fabulous if every parent in this state were comfortable enough and actually themselves had the information to share with their children. Parents do not have that information for a lot of reasons, and we need to work on that as well. But we know that the schools have a space their space is to educate our children. And so if we really value our children and our young people, we must offer them information and life skills that, is going, that are going to support them as they grow, mature, and really face an increasingly interconnected and very complicated world. So I will personally continue to support this amendment so that my son and children look like him and children unlike him, children who have parents who don't have this information or don't feel comfortable talking with their young people, because we are, my son is eight, we have talked to him about many things, including menstruation, because he needs to know that, he needs to understand. Um, but I'll continue to support this amendment, and I'll continue to speak out about it if it is not passed in this session, so that our children can receive the education that they deserve. No questions, just a, just a comment. I, I appreciate your testimony, and uh, I appreciate your um, uh, parenting skills, particularly. Uh, I uh, also, we, we uh, gosh, I'm a grandfather at the time. My grandsons are three times the age of your son, two times. Anyway. Um, nonetheless, uh, we did the same with our daughter. Um, we, we gave her information. <coughs> Uh, handing that off to somebody else uh, is a bit different than, than parents because, um, well, it's just it's a bit different. 
we recognize that in, in trying to shape public policy, also in trying to educate parents that they need to be educated to children <coughs> as we educate their children. Thank you very much. I don't disagree with you. Thank you. If I could just comment there, I agree. I also think that the schools have a role to play if teachers are trained and feeling comfortable to provide medically accurate information. 